Hello there and welcome to Natalie Drewy's first DIY vlog. We will not be only DIYing today, we will also be checking out some hidden gems in Causeway Bay. So put on an apron, push back your hair and let's do this. We start off eating lunch at Shanghai Xiangang Mianjia Shanghai Hong Kong Noodle Shop. Otherwise we will have no energy to DIY anything. This particular restaurant runs 24 hours and you can only pay by cash. This shop has been around for decades and serves comfort food which many locals love. The signature dish is a glutinous rice roll wrapped around a Chinese dough stick and dried pork mint that locals would eat before and after work. A sweet or bitter soy milk is the best accompaniment to the glutinous rice roll. We also ordered some other dishes like Shanghai sticky rice cakes, dandan dan noodles, pan fried dumplings and the list goes on. When you are in Causeway Bay, you can't miss the five exit junction and one of them will lead you to the iBeverly shopping centre. You may want to check out the iBeverly shopping centre which is next to Sogo. It's full of shops with local brands at reasonable prices and this is one of the places locals like to shop at. As you can see, there are all sorts of merchandise here like clothes, accessories and anything you can think of. Beverly Shopping Centre, we walked to Tunglong Street. Tunglong actually means lantern in Cantonese, so where are the lanterns? There don't seem to be any in evidence. No doubt there were many at one time in the distant past, but not anymore. Nah, -uh, Tunglong Street is in fact a street lined with restaurants, mostly western. Many people come here for lunch or dinner after work. summer weather is always humid and hot. A nice boba, bubble, bobo, whatever you want to call it, bubble tea would do the trick to cool you down on a hot day. The bubbles are little pearls made of black sugar gelatin. They're very chewy and moorish and taste great when mixed with different types of hot or chilled tea. Try one when you have the chance. They also have different toppings like milk or cheese foam. The cheese foam sounds rather weird but it actually tastes very good and is well worth a try. The long 
awaited DIY lipstick is finally here. DIY lipstick workshop, here we go. I went for a darker red and my cousin went for like a pinkish red color. Everything used was natural including bee wax and we could pick our own colors. Through a melting process, we eventually produced a yellow melted liquid into which we could then add the colour of the lipstick we wanted. Once thoroughly mixed and returned to the heat, the mixture is poured into a lipstick mould where it can then set hard and forms a lipstick. The lipstick case can be decorated using a hot pen used to stencil gold leaf onto the box's surface. Okay, the moment of truth. Finally, the lipstick casing is placed over the lipstick mold and voila, the lipstick is complete and ready to be used. I like the color. It's very red. It's so red. I think this experience was fun and novel because it is unusual for me to sit down my work on arts and crafts. It was much more interesting than I thought it would be, and the teacher was very attentive and fun to learn from. This cat cafe has been around for more than 10 years. The food and drinks are cat themed and the cats are very friendly. It is a great place for cat lovers and family gatherings with kids. We had a matcha drink, lattes and smoothies and a cat shaped pizza and some fries.
bridge stretching over the Hennessy Road, there are shrines devoted to serving those who have been wronged. It is part of Hong Kong's intangible cultural heritage. Many of us have probably had times in our life when we wanted to beat up someone. This is somewhere you can go and do that without physically harming anyone. You write the name of whoever you have a grudge against on a piece of paper. The lady at the shrine then folds up the paper and BEATS IT with the sole of an old shoe. It symbolizes beating someone up who you don't like or who has harmed you in some way. Those who have been wronged can get their back on wrongdoers in this way. Trust me, one way or another, you will feel a lot better having done it. I got you, homie! It has been an eventful and varied day. Time for a rest. See you in the next exciting episode. Make sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss it.